hello beautiful people welcome again to my channel where i have been sharing with you snippets of my experience to becoming a mom in a foreign land if you are new here my name is theodora i am your sister i am a mom i'm a wife and i am more and this is what i have been sharing with you today i'm going to be sharing with you something very 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 personal to me and i hope that you can relate with it as far as i am concerned as a woman no matter what you look like or the level of worldly riches that you have, a woman's commitment to the Lord is what truly matters in life. Why do I say so? The book of Proverbs chapter 31 verse 30 attests to it when it says that charm is deceitful, beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord will be praised. Why do I say so? Becoming a mom, and maintaining your spirituality to me is a big deal especially if you have a very good relationship with God prior to you becoming a mom when you finally become a mom things can become extremely difficult for you and if you are not careful your relationship with God might go down the drain and I don't want that and I hope that you don't want that too. It can be really, really difficult. In fact, it's not like it can be really difficult. It is really difficult. In my situation, for instance, when you are alone with a child, you know, studying your Bible, reading your Bible, praying can become a very hardcore amidst taking care of a child, you know, baiting a child, attending to the child. If you have a clingy baby like my baby, I love her so much. You know, this task can be very daunting. So what do you do? Today, I'm going to be sharing with you five practical tips that has helped me personally to maintain my spirituality, to keep up with my relationship with God. The number one on my list is intentionality yes be intentional about it don't just think it in your mind but make up your mind that you want to ensure that your spiritual life is intact make up your mind that you don't want to re lose the relationship you have with christ all because you have a new child after all god gave you that new child so if you replace the child with god Imagine you being God, what are you going to do? That's not going to be fun at all. There are other aspects of your life that still needs to be intact regardless of the presence of a new and loving human being in your life. And I know that the spiritual controls the physical. So if you do not take control of your spirituality, something might go wrong with your physical that is the way i think about it or that is the way i look at it so be intentional the number two thing that i would encourage you to do and which i also did and this um is something my husband also encouraged me to do is to create an atmosphere of worship in your home create an atmosphere of worship in your home sometimes you become very lazy or you become very tired that to even pray or read your bible becomes something really difficult to do but if you create an atmosphere of worship before you know it, you, you would start worshiping one of the reasons why i believe that we are created on earth that god created me is so that i can worship him so in the midst of being a mom and all that comes with it, especially if you're by yourself like me, creating an atmosphere of worship would really help. You know, play worship music, play worship songs. And worship is not just songs, you know. Worship could be prayer as well. Play all these videos and audio, thank God for YouTube, or a lot of musical channels where you can play it and create that atmosphere in your in your room at the places where you usually are with your baby before you know it you would start praying sometimes i just turn on prayer um songs or some music and before i know it i'm already praying or speaking in tongues there are lots of such um music or tunes online that you can always subscribe to or that you can always use and 
really 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 helps and number third tip and what i have been doing is to read your bible now this aspect can be very very difficult you know it can be very difficult because you know baby needs attention you have to change the baby's diaper you have to eat yourself and then you have to prepare food in my situation the bedrooms are upstairs and so I have to be going up and coming the kitchen is downstairs it can be really really difficult so one thing i have done is to make sure i i chose a book of the bible that i am going to be reading every day currently i'm reading the book of proverbs and i'm already in, in chapter 17 so tonight i'll be reading chapter 18 so one thing that helps me or one way that i do is that my baby is still awake before my baby sleeps i read that chapter to my baby so it's like a bedtime reading time kind of thing i read it out loud to my baby before i do that i say a word of prayer and then i read it and then i use the same verse or chapter that i have read or some verses that touches my heart i post that on my on my whatsapp status and then I pray over myself and over my baby based on what I have read. And before I read, I ask the Holy Spirit to help me to understand and to speak to my heart and my spirit and that of my baby as well. And it has really, really helped me and I hope that it helps you too. The number four thing on my list or number four tip is to take a prayer walk. Now, usually you don't want to be indoor all of the time with your child. You want to step out. So I've made a conscious effort that anytime I step out of the house, whether I'm going to buy something or whether I'm going for a walk, but I actually take out times in the evenings to go out for a walk. And when I go out for a walk, as I push the baby and as we walk, I begin to say a prayer. If I don't know anything to pray about, I pray for other people. If I don't have an idea at all what to pray about i just speak in tongues as i walk and hope that the holy spirit helps me to pray that is what i have been doing so far the number fifth tip is to pray pray you cannot be a child of god you cannot want to maintain your spirituality or you cannot want to keep up with your relationship with god without praying it is impossible prayer is the only way that we communicate with god that is the only way you can tender your request to god and it can be really difficult so i would be sincere with you so sometimes or all of the time recently since becoming a new mom what i do is when i wake up in the morning i want to wake up first and do a few things um before baby wakes up so when baby wake, finally wakes up i pick up the baby you know kisses hi baby and all of that and then i say a prayer i carry the baby like hug hugging the baby and then i say a prayer like thank you jesus for waking us up this morning we commit our days your hand you know like that i say a prayer right there and then another thing that i've been doing to help me keep up with my prayer life is to ensure that i join prayer groups online that i believe in now there are a lot of prayer groups and there are a lot of things happening but there are specific ones and specific people that i believe in or i've been praying with them for a while and it works for me there are some that do it on a daily basis there are some that do it on a weekly basis so join whichever one is comfortable for you so far i have been praying with alpha R, and it has really really helped me as a new mom it's difficult to keep up because of the time um different so when i'm unable to join life i make sure i do a repeat as my own leisure time and i pray and one other thing that i do all of the time is to listen to the word of god you know reading the bible by yourself sometimes is not enough god blesses people god uses people to bless people like apostle Joshua selma will always say i always listen to him if i'm unable to join life i join anytime i am free it's an opportunity for me to you know listen to the word of god for me to to hear god reveal himself to me through another man that he has revealed himself to so i listen to specific preachers at specific time and then and you know they also lead you in prayer and it helps my spirit sometimes i listen and i scream and my baby will we you know would also scream and she would also be excited all of this in doing all of this you're also creating an environment for your baby or you are creating 
um, a teaching experience for your baby because your baby sees you what you listen to what you do and before you know it they'll grow up and they'll start doing it one thing i always tell myself is that she's still a baby in body but she has a spirit a spirit is not a baby so the things that i am doing a spirit is taking notice of it and hopefully by the special grace of god she grows up to learn from this as well these are the few tips that i have been using to keep up with my relationship with god to deepen my ties with god and to ensure that i am balanced spiritually physically and all other ali i hope that you learn from this i hope that this video has been a blessing to you and if it has been a blessing to you kindly share this video and look out for new videos every thursday 5 p.m cet thank you so much and do have a blessed day